The most important announcement, the bar is open.
working in what line? Okay. 
Are you happy with that one now? Yeah. I'm happy with that one now. So, you had a... Yeah. 
I know you because I'm your intellectual. Your life, it's life. <laughs> right? You must have got a Facebook uh, uh, link on your mobile, on your group. You can send your family members, they can see right now. Thank you. 
Hello? Hello? I think all of you need to wake up uh, Captain this time and who's at the door. They have given up. <laughs> That's hard. Thank <laughs> you. 
we have with us somebody who's older than that. Captain Tommy Rosario is right here in the front, 101 years young. But we have to start on a somber note, I'm afraid. You must have all heard. 
heard the very tragic news of Captain Rao passing away a few days ago. He was so excited to hear about this celebration and was keen to attend. John Prasad was actually arranging to bring him here from Goa. But the Lord, you know, he went otherwise. We had then otherwise thought that at least he would talk to us on a video link, but that also wouldn't happen. However, may I first request folks in the back, please. May I first request a two-minute silence for our dear departed Captain Rao, as also all the dear departed Cynthia colleagues over the years. Two minutes silence, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, in continuation, may I ask you to pay attention to the screen here? Uh, please now, please now. Uh, the screen here, we have uh, Mrs. Rao, with a message from Captain Rao. It's a short video that she has sent us. Uh, please do give it to your attention. Thank you. Just one more, one more, one more. Can you please take a seat, sir? Sorry, you can come back. Once again, folks, this is a privilege to address you in place of Captain Rao, who was looking forward to doing so. He was very excited about this reunion of ex Syrians and I hope to catch up with all of you this time around. I cannot thank you enough for all the moving tributes you have paid to him and the many memories you have shared with me. It has helped me to better deal with my loss. It is overwhelming for me to know how much love and respect he commanded amongst you. To hear from all of you how much he meant to you makes my heart swell with pride. Captain Rao joined Sylvia's right after Dufferin and he spent his entire career there. He was a proud professional who dedicated his working life to Sylvia. Even before the onset of the wild world, he was available 24-7, 365 days to his Sylvia family, which is how he thought of all of you. Captain Rao's life was the perfect mix of work-life balance and he was as committed to his extended family as to his work. To him, every person was important and every relationship was precious. He accepted life as it came and took all the highs and lows with equanimity. He always had a pity saying or a story to make a point. His favorite one being the old Chinese fable, good or bad, only time will tell. It is hard to think he is gone and we shall never hear his love or his stories ever again. But we have much to be thankful.
great food for him. Long years with him, when he taught us how life is to be lived and for the joy he gave us. On behalf of our family, I would like to thank you for everything you have done to honor his memory. Please enjoy this <coughs> evening to the fullest. Rekindle old memories. Strengthen the bonds that unite the Sindhya family. Because even though he isn't physically present, he is there in spirit with all of you. Of that I am certain. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam. From all of us, from Deep in our heart, thank you. Uh, it's also an interesting fact that S.K. Sharma right here was the last person to have a conversation with Kevin Rao the evening before he died. And he remembers that very fondly what he conveyed to his wife when they came to us. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, of course, uh, it is time for us to kind of release the memento that has been prepared for this occasion. It's like a book release, you know, so uh, there's a memento for everybody, those who have made, those who have made. <laughs> and uh, I would like to invite some of the uh, super seniors to step up on the stage uh, in order to release this momentum. Uh, first off, uh, Captain Anand, would you please uh, join us here on the stage? Uh, may I ask, uh, this is Captain Brian Pereira to come up on the stage please. This is Brian Pereira. Uh, and also, Mr. Dushyant Anjariya, uh, the son of Mr. Devi Prasad Anjariya, who happens to be the longest serving individual in the company. His service goes 40, 45 years. Uh, uh, he is not present with us today. He is you know, resting in peace somewhere else. But his son is here, Dushyant, and I'd like to invite him on the stage receive a momentum on his behalf. I also would like to have call Captain J.K. Chaudhary up on the stage, please sir. And uh, Captain Vakshishwar, please sir. These are all people who joined the company in the 40s. There are others, Captain Rosario and Captain others, but at the moment, stage seems to be full. <laughs> so, uh, can you please? Yes. Yes. Anjariya, 1944 to 1954. 
1985. Captain Brian Barrera, 1945 to 1953. And Captain J.K. Chaudhary, my own master for some months, uh, 1949 to 1984. Thank you very much. And for the rest of you, may I inform you that your mementos are in a box which are lying at the entrance on your way out, you will please locate your name and take the momentos that you need to and also pick up the momentos for whom you have promised to take. So there will be people out there to help you. And with that, I thank you very much and hand over to Glenn to make the final ah, yes, announcements. Glenn. Okay, good afternoon everyone. I am uh, Greg Solana. If you want to throw stones, all the list sets into how is the time. Today is so near the end of this afternoon's function. People will start to drift away uh, and they won't own time. So we're going to take the opportunity now to raise a vote of thanks and recognition of people who have served in the company. Uh, there are lots of people to thank, lots of people to recognize. So if I exceed the, the allotted time of 30 minutes, please stop me. I'm only kidding, it's about an hour. I will, I will name some names, but they are, they are not individuals I'm targeting. They, these are just reflective of the entire diaspora of Sindhyas. Let's think, uh, It's, it is, it's, a, it's, it's been a wonderful experience to uh, involve ourselves with uh, to, in the, in the opportunity to uh, uh, recognize our super seniors. It's something that we would have liked to have done from the first reunion, but I'm only able to do this time uh, because of the largest and big heart of Captain Nagarajan and Mrs. Nagarajan with a huge donation. Can you ask me to thank all of them? Thank you, sir. They, we also have to thank a few other people uh, in this regard. Uh, Sam Mama and Sam Debu. If only all of you were named Sam, you would have had this at the Taj. Uh, there is also uh, one person who has paid for all the uh, photographers, the video. By the way, we are, we are live streaming at the moment. And that's why I'm nervous, you know, I'm going to swirl my audience and be careful. But, <laughs> but uh, who has paid for the photographers and wants to be to remain unnamed? I have to give you a hint. He's one of three brothers who have been masters in Sindhya's, and the eldest one is here. There is also there is also um, Cyrus and Xerxes Andrewala who did not serve uh, Sindhya's, but in memory of the great times they had when they sailed with their father, Captain Mandrewala, the most courageous of all of you, has actually sponsored all the wine that all of you are drinking. And Captain Mandrewala, to his credit, said he, he thought we are just very ordinary plebeians because he was willing to sponsor French wine, but he thought we, we Indian buy it, so we are stuck with Sula. <laughs> and, and from an external external organization close to the company, the Narutta Moraji Institute of Shipping, with a director Captain Sagi has made a very big contribution to this example of Sagi. There is another group of people here in a very large 
all the all the ladies. Uh, I was going to say that all of them look younger than me, but I thought better because of how old I look. That's not really a compliment. Uh, but thank you, thank you for the love and the patience and the care and the support that we had from you when we were when, as seafarers. Without you, we would not have managed that. But above all, for keeping us alive in the hearts and minds of our children. For that alone, we cannot thank you enough. In that group, there are a few subsets. Some of you are daughters, some of you are wives of Sindhya Seafarers. There are some of you who are wives and mothers of Sindhya Seafarers. More than a few. This is this, 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 not me. It's, this, this group, I, I must tell you, they have a much better idea of seafarers than you give them credit. When I was a young cadet, I started off very regularly sending letters and I was numbering them one, two, three. I think I reached four and got tired. And uh, I sent number eight after a reasonable period of time. And my mom came down like a ton of bricks and said, Don't you dare try this. And I was wondering how she picked on that quickly and I asked her. She said, your dad did this before you, so I, I was expecting that. <laughs> there are, I mean, whether you are, if you are a wife uh, and mother of seafarers, I'm not sure it was a blessing or a curse, but there are some here you can ask. There are also some, Mrs. Divine comes to mind, who is the daughter and wife of a seafarer, uh, whether, they, whether they are Sorry, whether they are, that is a blessing of curse is easily answered. My wife was one of them is not here. And but in her, in her, in her credit, to her credit, she has allowed me to attend uh, today's function. Oh, that makes me sound like I'm a, I'm a henpecked husband. And I am, I can assure you I'm not. And this is because I have Giselle's permission to say so. As, as Captain uh, Sharma said, uh, we have to remember all those who have gone before us uh, with the internal rest. We also have to remember all those who are not here because of life's exigencies, and all of them are here in spirit. And we must thank them for their contribution to seniors and to us. And I ask you all to raise a glass for all those who are not here today, all of those who have a glass. Among, among the wives here, uh, there is uh, Mrs. Uh, Nalini Hegde, wife of uh, the late Captain Arun Hegde. For all of us who sailed with him, we all know what a pleasure I was. Then their son is here too, Nishan. Nishan is a very special young man. He's the only one who I ever met who liked bad weather. And we asked him why. There were two other ladies who were sailing at the time along with his mother, and both of them are here. And he said, bad weather means no school, all the teachers are ceasing. And he said, I promise you, your mom didn't, uh, didn't ask me to say this, but all of you who know of eligible young ladies, that's a very eligible young man. He lives in the US, and most of all, he's of solid senior stock. Uh, before I get actually stoned, we must thank the organizing committee, led by the head on show here, Nan Kumar Sa, ABA assisted, and uh, you guys have to come uh, ABA assisted by our in house IT genius, Shekhar Now you have to come. He's the one who has enabled the uh, link with the uh, UA. He's the one who is live streaming everything. They, they have been ably uh, guided by Captain KG Bakshi, sir, yeah. and, and Captain Nagarajan, all the way from Singapore. I am very nervous. And, uh, sir, we need you here. Right. We must not forget Wilfred Fernandez, who was assisting from his ship 
while he was dodging icebergs and mermaids in the Aleutian Islands. And within a couple of hours of landing in Bombay, took over and has enabled the, the making of all these same tanks. Wilfred? Wilfred, Wilfred. Just swing at the bar, Wilfred will be around there. And while everybody is prompting me, I haven't forgotten. There are only three gentlemen who have been part of the organizing committee of every single reunion since 2004. Shipko, Ashitanga, Jhalve, Yanki Shaka, and Abhijit Chalavad. Gentlemen, you all know, all of you are very good, very good. Thank you, thanks, and of course. I see you there, sir. Shiv, Shiv. How are you, sir? Wilfred is here. Come on, Wilfred. Bar, 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 bar had to be closed for him to come here. Three cheers. One more, one more. One more, one more. Two cheers. Yes, sir. Sir, sir, please. Sir, sir. Sir, sir. Sir, sir. Three cheers. Yeah, please, please, close, close in, close in, close in, please. Hey, smile. Captain Sharma. We, we are taking this photo before lunch is served because lunch is uh, sandwiches and soup. Captain Alvi tells me that all of you who died will get drained and water. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, <laughs> Enjoy so much. Cheers, cheers. Drink and enjoy. Thank you very much. There are, there are two ladies I'd like to uh, like to remember today. Two very special ladies in terms of the reunion. Both of whom sadly have taken away much too early and are not here today. Uh, Elisa Cardozo, who attended all the reunions, whether her husband Tommy was here or not. And he just made it this year. And Manisha Halve, wife of Captain. Uh, Shivananda Nambe, sirs, I'm sure you miss them as we do, especially on occasions like this. Their warm, outgoing personalities and generosity of spirit would have absolutely lit up today's occasion. We do remember them. We have, we have now talked about lots of people, the seniors. What about us, who are the young, younger guys? Many of us here have sailed only third mate or fifth uh, fourth engineer or fifth engineer and grade. Why, why then are we here today? I mean, it's a bit presumptuous of me to speak to them, but I would think it's because of this. It is our opportunity uh, to uh, show gratitude, to acknowledge, to thank you, all of you who came before us, for the example you set, for the, 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 the way, the, how you showed us the way we should behave, how we should carry ourselves, how we should carry ourselves as Indian seafarers. Uh, instilling us professionalism and uh, a work ethic and which has allowed us the ambition and the courage to uh, actually blast down those we were afraid to knock on and break every glass ceiling that was there before us. So I must, I must take your time and, and name a few names again only reflective of the Sindhya diaspora. Captain J.C. Anand has been an inspiration for all of us and uh, in, in every part of the seafaring life, as also his and his wife's philanthropy, we had an extremely, extremely good example a few days ago, and I'm sure, sir, it won't be the first, it wasn't the first, and it certainly won't be the last. In the field of uh, maritime regulation, Captain Barwe, Ajay Chatterjee, Bibi Barwal, Captain Awasti, Captain Mahapatra, and others have shown the way. We have four ANSA surveyors who are ex-Sindhyas, one is current, 
and Captain Vanshishwar and Ashok Mahapatra went all the way at the IMO. Captain Vanshishwar actually is the lead author of STCW 78. I'm not sure most of you know that. And the, the latest amendment, Manila 96, I think, or 2006, which is, which is nothing, 2010, I'm sorry, which is nothing less than the Seafarers Bill of Rights, was the, the lead author was Ashok Mahapatra, who is hopefully still here. I'm, I'm not going to ask anybody else to come on stage because in the field of planning, uh, Captain Satish Stood, who was supposed to be here, I'm not sure he is, and Captain Raman Mehra, assisted by Captain S.C. Sandeep Nathip, uh, led the way in the manning field. And we have so many manning luminaries here. Uh, I, I might miss out a few names, so apologies. Abhijit Chattopadhyay, Gordon Riley, Isla Thomas. Shiv Nandan Halpe, Chris D'Souza, Noel Alfonso, Sandeep Malankar, uh, Guna Sekar, Prashant Rangnekar, and Michael Menezes in India, Daryl Viganza and Narayana Menon in uh, Hong Kong, and Jatin Thakkar in London, lead and continue or lead or have led or continue to lead very, very large manning organizations. Uh, manning is one thing, full technical organization. That is something the Sindhya people have been a big part of. The late Benos Kajotia uh, and Jami Pandara there in Great Circle, uh, sorry, in uh, Five Star in uh, Bombay, and uh, Jai Mansukani and Boka Sudhakar with Precious Shipping and uh, Great Circle in Bangkok. And you've got to give time to Mr. Sudhakar somewhere along the way. He sings Harry Belafonte better than Harry Belafonte. Uh, and also lately, much more, Captain Vijay Ranguru and his team at MTM in uh, Singapore. We have, a, we have a serving rear admiral, Mukul Astana, who is to Sindhya's several DCs and uh, harbour masters from the major ports in India, two of whom I know and one of whom I shall not name. In the field of maritime education, Captain Indrajit Singh, Captain Kodurkar, D.K. Joseph, Ali Subramanian. D.K. Uh, Sanyal, S.K. Sina have led the way and we have now the more modern age some big uh, education luminaries like Kish Sharma, Anil Puri, Francis Atara, Captain Bhavi again, Errol Francis, Ian Das, Uwe Shede who has now moved to another field and many others. The very first chap the very first Indian and possibly first non-Japanese corporate officer in any of the big three Japanese companies is Hevan Pratanya, who is also ex -Indians. And Sanam Chakurka is uh, CEO of Berkshire and lives and works in Norway. I call him uh, really alive in his own name. And, God damn it, my best friend, best man at my wedding, senior cadet. Twice my master when I was chief officer, Vikan Bhatia, who's hiding there behind the pillar, for the last 10 years has been CEO of Midsize Shipping Company in, in Hong Kong, in KC Maritime. Rix, it's a long, long way since you were my senior cadet. When you got, you were wakened by the Sudanese water call, shucked a boiler suit over your pajamas, went up to the bridge, to the then chief officer, Troy Basu, got the work, came down, gave the work to me, and then he went back to sleep. But as always, it's best to leave the best to last. And who that might that be? I am of the firm belief that the best of the best are those of you who spent your entire life, entire professional life at sea, and those of you who continue to do so. It takes somebody with a very special heart, real jigger, to uh, face up to all the problems and realities of a, of a, of a shipboard life. The conditions, the weather, the time away from home, so many other vagaries, and you have to have real, real heart to be an engineer on the, on the engine platform when you are in ballast in a, in a really turbulent sea and the propeller gets in and out of the water, starts racing, and all hell is breaking loose. Or to be on the bridge of a ship in a four square hurricane. Without you, there is no manning 
companies, there are no technical superintendents, there are no pilots, there are no uh, regulators, there's nobody, there's no ships, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no shipping. And it is my firm belief that you are the best of the best, the bravest of the brave, and we should salute all of you. There is only one common thread that joins all of them, and that I believe is the basic grounding all of us got in India, for which we should be grateful. And now that my half an hour is coming to an end, I'll, I'll end with what is fitting, what is fitting for somebody like Lalit Manikala went to a school in Bombay and uh, Glenn Rego and Pratik Sid Rishi, who travelled all the way from New York in Delhi, uh, sorry, is here, went to St. Columbus, as Shashi Tharoor, and I end with a small quotation of Shakespeare, which is uh, adapted to the best function. Not sure whether we will have another, another reunion, and certainly not on this size. So if we meet again, why we shall smile? If not, let us meet this party this afternoon. This is not the end. We do it every year. Every year we do it. It may not be a precise, but we do it.